Hello everyone, this is Suprita from Informatica and in this video I'll be talking about Business Glossary Desktop. I'll be giving you an overview of Business Glossary as well as the Business Glossary Desktop. I'll also have a demo where I'll be installing Business Glossary Desktop, show you the usage of this software as well as I'll be configuring preferences. Let's recap what exactly a Business Glossary is. It is a set of terms that use business log logic to define concepts for business users and it provides the business definition and usage of a concept. So basically you will be using business glossary desktop to, list, uh, to look up business terms in a business glossary. So here is how your business glossary desktop looks. It's a Windows uh, pop-up where you just need to give the terms that you want to search for and all the terms will come up in your search result. Some of the gu guidelines that needs to be followed when you're using this, this software. Only the terms that are published are shown in the search results. So you have to ensure that your business terms are published. The other thing is that the user configured in the BG desktop client should have read permissions on the corresponding business glossaries. If the username does not have read permissions, the search will not work properly as the terms will not come up in your, in your business glossary desktop. If you want to install this, this desktop client software, you just need to find it. It's, it's there in your Informatica software. You just need to go to your Infa home, then, then go to services, then metadata manager service, under utilities folder you'll be finding a business glossary installer so there is an MSI which you can just you just need to click on to and install it in your Windows machine so let's get started with the demo so as you can see right now I'm in the metadata manager service folder of where my Informatica is in installed and if you go to utilities you'll find a business glossary installer. You can just copy the MSI to your Windows machine. And once that's done, you can just click onto the MSI and start installation. So right now, I'll just start on the installation. Once you click on the MSI, you just need to click on next. Give the folder or location where you want to install it. Click on next. And here is where you want to configure where your MM browser is, like the host which is associated with your MM service. And give you and you need to give the correct port number, give native as your domain, and then give your user ID as administrator. Then I'm using administrator and you can use any any of the usernames but you need to make sure that you have read permission. So click on next and if, if your configuration is wrong you'll get an error message. So my configuration was right so I can install it now. So yes now the installation is finished you can launch it so you can launch it from anywhere you can launch it from your uh, from your business here you will find your business glossary as well as you can find it in your uh, toolbar an icon so it's it's as simple as that so any term you can give, you can give account. Say if I want to search for account, you'll you'll have. If you want to say search for bank account, these are the terms that is currently present in my business glossary. So if for example, if you want to have some more details on this, so you just can click on the term and here you'll find your the details over here. If you go to edit and if you go to settings, you will find something called preferences and that is where you want to configure what exactly fields uh, do you want. Do you want information about 
data steward who is the data steward what is the usage con context and all these informations if they are filled up in your metadata manager those information will come up the other thing is that you can configure your server accordingly so if you don't want to log in as user you can just give another user and and test it and if it fails you'll get a message accordingly so let's start with let's have a look at file if you want to print something if you want to print a term you can just go to file click on print and this particular term will be printed out for you help is obviously if you want some help related to business glossary you just need to click on help and and you you can get it online an online help so i have here just a few terms on the business glossary and if you want to basically publish let's see what happens if you create a term and not publish it let's see whether the terms come up at all or not so test unpublished term let's say it's unpublished let's see what happens testing let's give a description of it so here we have a term but i haven't published it so let's see if you get it at all test unpublished would you get it so you you'll find a no result found if if that term is missing but if you go on and publish it try to publish it and then try to find out your term so let's see if the term comes up at all or not so see so here you have a result which is there for it so in a nutshell informatica business glossary desktop is is a very easy software to use and it is pretty handy you don't have to be dependent upon any browser you can just launch it from your desktop and and ensure that you have connectivity to your host on that particular port and it's pretty easy to use for more reference for more information you can obviously go to the informatica business glossary desktop guide you can also have a look at our kbid which is 149218 and 148324 also if you have any feedback you can just write in to us through twitter or also email at this particular address thank you